Good day YouTube, Down the Bricks here. Very excited to finally bring you my custom Palace Cinema. I'm extremely happy with how it's turned out. First, I need to give a shout out to the one and only Brick Adjuster. He did his own custom Palace Cinema. I'm going to put a card up now taking you straight to that video so you can go and check that out. As soon as I saw BA's Palace Cinema, I knew I had to do one myself. It's taken me quite a bit of time to get it done. I did want to use his style of what he did with his build. So I've got this recessed middle section here. But it is quite different as well because I wanted to keep it as a corner building or a building that can basically go on the end of a block. This allowed me to have the three entrances, so I've got an entrance on each corner for the regular patrons and I have the centre entrance for the VIPs. So we will be going around the building for a look and we will get to the inside. It is detailed on the inside. It's not detailed to the level of today's modulars, but I did want to put as much as I could on the inside without going overboard. Some more information on this build, obviously it is three stories, it has four theatres and I built the whole thing using four Palace Cinema sets. So basically I did the bottom floor, the second floor and the roof all with three sets and then to do the third floor I did have to open a third set. So up until doing that floor I really didn't have too many pieces left over, but let me show you after opening the fourth set, I did have quite a bit left over. So here is the bucket I have, so you can see it there. So it's quite, quite full. So I've got lots of parts left over from, from the four. So that's very healthy for the parts bin. I didn't have to use too many pieces of my own. I did use more of these masonry bricks, these brick bricks in the light grey, so there's quite a few more of those. Same with the dark tan ones down on these columns there. I did need a few more door frames and inserts. More cheese slopes, the two wide cheese slopes, I did have to get some more of those or use some out of my own kit. And a few pieces that I didn't have that I did have to order in, just to finish it off, I did use more dark red tiles and the standard red tiles. So I got those for the red carpet and I've also used those on my elevator as well. So it does have an elevator inside. Okay, so let's go in for a closer look. Down to the red carpet. There is the ticket booth. We have one each side there. So the posters go right up the inside as well. This was the sort of trickiest part to do is working out this width of this section here and then of course matching the angled roof here to go around. So the actual signs here for the palace, the palace sign, it's actually longer than what it was originally. So I've spaced all the letters out. And it's actually two studs less down the side here. So uh, from the standard palace cinema, I actually overall if if you did two mirrored to each other this would be four studs wider yeah, I'd probably just block the light a little bit let's come around a little bit tricky so really just the end here with it being three stories other than that it's pretty similar to the Palace Cinema, the original build. There's the Star Wars posters. 
Very cool, aren't they? So you've got Star Wars and Batman. I was originally going to do a, another cinema right on top, just in this square section here, but um, it just got a little bit tricky in the end, so I just settled to go with the three stories. And again, just from this side, it is the same, obviously. But I think it's time now to have a look at the inside. Just quickly before we do that, I'll just show you from the back, so not quite pretty from the back, is it? But what can you do? I did put a few masonry bricks in there that they did do in the original set. I didn't want to waste too many and I needed them for the other side, but um, there's more of these black bricks in here too so you'll see what they are for on the inside but yeah it's not exactly pretty but that's not too bad I might actually put some billboards on the back or something like that just to make it look a little bit better once it's in the city starting with the first floor I was really happy with how that tiling came out and the red carpet so you can come down onto the red carpet and inside to the elevator. So there is the elevator there. We have where you can get all your snacks, all your goodies, your popcorn. So there's two counters there. Same with the the original. So it has the stairs going up to the first floor. If I come around, a little bit tricky to show, but there is the ticketing booth. One on each side. with all the posters as well all of those builds are just taken straight from the original it's just changed around a little bit different sizing it does have the lights as well just down in here up onto the second floor has two theatres this is playing the movie from the original set so we got Nana and Pop there enjoying it we've got the projector down here all builds just taking from the taken from the original here we've got Batman playing and uh, I don't think Batman's too happy there with the Joker so you can see where the stairs come up from the ground floor but of course you can get the elevator and I've just have these little sight panels here that are movable and that's just to block block off from the screen Now up onto the third floor. Some more awesome movie posters. So 
So you can only get access here via the elevator. And here we have Star Wars playing all the time. We have our own little kiosk up on here so you don't have to make your way down to the bottom floor all the time just to get some fresh popcorn. And it's exactly the same over on this side. And up onto the roof. So this section here, exactly the same as the original Palace Cinema. I just wanted to make this tower here a little bit taller so I just built this section up I think that come up pretty good was a little bit tricky working this section out to sort of come around the corners and just to do that so it fitted you can see I've just got these a little bit shorter just so the corners don't cl clash I think that looks pretty good from the back side not quite as good I end up going too wider here with the bricks just to strengthen the whole thing up a little bit and because I just had to make this big box here just to house the top part here I wasn't sure when I actually built this if I'd have enough dark tan which turned out I had stacks but I didn't worry about changing it so I just did it in grey put a door in there which goes nowhere it was really just to save a bit of brick space and I had plenty of those doors from the set from all the sets but yeah it was um, wasn't as tricky as what I thought it was going to be this roof section the hardest part really was just working out the original footprint just to make the whole thing work with this recessed area here and where I'd put the ticket booth and what I'd put below you know down this section so I end up just putting all the posters but in the end wasn't too difficult there you have it everyone there is my custom palace cinema I hope you enjoyed this video I've got a couple more shout outs I'd like to give a shout out to Aussie Bricks for sending me the stickers for the Star Wars posters thanks a lot mate there's a card there to check his channel out have a look at this other card as well that will be for Hayley Bricks a shout out to Hayley Bricks she had a very awesome custom palace cinema in her city too that I did get some inspiration from so check that out so the next thing now is to get it into the city which I can't wait to do to see what it looks like so I'll be getting a city update done for the grand opening of the palace cinema so stay tuned for that and if you don't want to miss that and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome. I'd really love to hear what you guys think about this custom palace cinema. Any questions you might have, I'm happy to answer. And don't forget, if you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And as always, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. I hope you all have a enjoyable but safe New Year celebrations. Here's to a bigger and better 2017. Thank you for all the support you've given me throughout the year. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.